Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah, so, um, yes. And then after uh, the our initial three years, three years treatment yeah. of treatment, I started once again working back in aviation. I wasn't full time, but I was work on myself a, a nice part time job working on small uh, commuter type aircraft. Yeah. And this was in Chicago. This was up in Chicago, Lansing Airport, until the company closed yeah. in '09. Yeah. And but I was able to do it again. Yeah. You know, it was at a part time basis. I still became tired, but I could do it. Yeah. That's great. On my, when I got tired, I said I had to go, and luckily had a, a supervisor and a boss, and the owners were nice to, to agree, saying, they go, and that's enough. Yeah. But I could do it, Good. and I know I could do it again, but uh, right now I'm traveling. Yeah. We are traveling. We are just back from the Smokies, been to Arcadia in Maine, been to Boston, been to... Uh, Hiking in in California, uh, Arizona, uh, been to uh, oh my gosh Costa Rica, <laughs> been to Italy, you know Florida several times, and of course okay no trips here yeah. back to Texas yeah. for home and family. Yeah. So could you have done this seven years ago? Never. My life back then in '03. I could not have done it. All I could do was exist, sit at the computer, go to doctor's appointments. My whole day revolved around doctor's appointments. And doctors just love to dish out medication. Yeah. They not a one ever, ever even mentioned or thought about TMJ. Yeah. TMJ is I it has to be the number one cause of many, many neurological dysfunctions and malfunctions. Yeah. It has to be because it's so prevalent. You know, when you get mad, what do you do? You start grinding your teeth. And I ground my teeth so hard, so long, that what were my molars? About a 45 degree angle. And now pretty well straightened out. Yes. So, yeah, I, it, I can't believe it. No. Not much more said on, yeah. on uh, and then what you brought up today about the Parkinson relationship. Yeah. I was also you had all the Parkinson symptoms. Had all the Parkinson symptoms, and I'm surprised nobody had ever mentioned that I had Parkinson's yeah. or diagnosed it as Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but uh, at the time, all three I wasn't aware of it either. So, but yeah. last year I've been. Very, good, you know, very doing a lot of Parkinson's research and treatment. So, so now I know how to diagnose it. <laughs> and so this is this yeah. is incredible. I, yeah. I love being back to life again. I'm Great. very happy. Yeah, I'm gonna show a couple little things here. This is how Richard looked when he came in seven years ago. His jaw was shifted to the right, so he was supposed to be rightly in the middle here. But every time when he put his teeth together, your jaw would shift right and and, and backwards. So that was happening 1,000, 2,000 times a day and that was way too much his nervous system could handle. And so we did a jaw correction, we corrected his jaw position going from here to here where everything is centered instead of the jaw being to the right. And, uh, and his nervous system responded real fast. Down here he was leaning to the right and about falling to the right all the time. Here his nervous system recovered and he was able to function. So. The initial treatment with different appliances, I won't go to them right now, but it took three years and we were able to correct his jaw. But he, he actually recovered real fast, he got symptomatic really very fast and he started functioning, but the whole treatment took over three years. And uh, correcting the jaw, jaw, jaw misalignment. And then after three years, he Richard moved back to Chicago and since then he's been coming back here once a year for periodic checkups and, and maintenance work. And just recently, you know, I haven't seen Richard now for two years. So this was the first time he came back for two years. And, and today we realized that his fight was off again slightly. So we did a fight adjustment and got his strength back. And, um, and he's getting some rashes on his legs, so indicating his energy is flowing like it should. So I have a feeling that after the adjustment, the appliances and the puzzle adjustment, you'll see improvement in even the, 
in the races. And I believe it will too. Yeah. And you got to have faith in your doctor. Yeah. And I have faith in yeah. Scott right here. And we're gonna we're gonna be adding to our website dmjetsonantonio.com a case history about Richard that will detail the treatment plan and the treatment and the progress and everything. So thank you very much. All right.